Oh nice, they finally added solos. Well, I did it. After all my, uh, complaining about not being able to win a game, I finally won a game. And I'm pretty thrilled about it still, to be honest. Alright, let's give the solos a try. So I don't know how long this is gonna be because, uh, due to this good old epidemic we got going on around here, there's a lot of people holed up in my house right now. Not that it really has anything to do with me, but, uh, I should probably at least, you know, hang out for a bit. Yeah, things have been pretty weird with that recently, actually. Apparently, like, all the restaurants and stuff have, uh, closed down. Not, like, closed down, closed down, but, like, you can't go eat there anymore. I think some places are still open for takeout, but very strange time. I don't know if it was like their plan to add solos all along and it just wasn't ready at first. I'd like to think that they listened to us complaining and added it. Because that'd be nice. It'd be nice to see, uh, you know, that they're actually taking community concern into consideration. Although then again, they did say they were going to turn the noise of that plane down and they haven't done it yet. I don't really know where I want to go. I'll just jump out and figure something. Let's go here. What's this? Oh, that's nothing. All right, I guess I'm going to the boneyard. I didn't really mean to go here. Nice. Yeah, I don't know if coming here is really the best idea, because every time I come here, things just go horribly wrong, it seems. Can we not with all these pistols? Alright, well, I guess I better go fight, since I can't really find any loot. There we go. Man, this really does go a lot better when you don't have to worry about your teammates. Oh, shit. Oh my god. I'm never going there again, dude. Every time I go there, it's just... Oh, it's not letting me skip. Here we go. Yeah, every time I go there, it's just horrible. Oh, here we go. Remove C4 from the Gulag, please. So this is entirely unrelated, but... Earlier I was talking about how I'd started playing Neo and I was recording it and stuff. Uh, I think I'm gonna sit on that. I might even delete it and start the game over whenever I do decide to go back and play it. Cause like, I haven't touched it at all since last time. And like, the odds of me doing any more with it between now and whenever are pretty slim because, as I've said ad nauseum, Doom comes out on Friday. And then after that, uh, Persona 5 Royal comes out, which I'm probably going to play extensively. I doubt I'll recorded or anything, but I'm definitely gonna play a lot of it. So yeah, I think the next thing I'm probably gonna play and record will be Doom, and then after that, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to Neo, maybe I won't. Alright, so this right here, this is off limits forever. I'm never going there again, that's terrible. I feel like downtown's kind of like my safe spot. Like, I don't always have the best games when I go there, but I never have really bad games. Like, I never have games where I just, like, either die immediately or die really stupidly after getting stacked up or whatever. Let's go here. Sounds like somebody died already, Jesus. One thing I do hope they do at some point is I hope they change the, like, weapon varieties. Getting only the Kilo and the Scar out of every single loot box is starting to get on my nerves. Also, I don't know if they're going to change this heartbeat sensor or what, but this thing is by far the most busted thing in the game. Another thing I'd like to see them change is how the armor plates work, or at least, like, how many of them you can carry. Like, I hate that you have to burn an entire armor plate if you've only taken a little bit of damage. It's really annoying. There we go. I haven't seen a soul yet, and I don't like that at all. I don't really want to have to pull in a loadout drop, but I'd really like a sniper rifle. Actually, so something else I saw a lot of people arguing about the other day was uh, loadout drops and like how much they cost. 
So like some people were saying that they wanted them removed completely. Some people said that uh, they should like cost more. Yeah, I don't really know about that. I just think, uh, I think that unless it's like the one that just spawns in the middle of the world, I think that uh, the one you buy should only work for you. Like if you buy one, your whole team shouldn't be able to get stacked up. Like it should only be you. But some people were saying like it shouldn't be in the game at all because it ruins looting. I don't really agree with that because the loot's not great. Like I was kind of saying before, like with the exception of the uh, the legendary stuff, like the weapon variety is really crap. And the availability of most of the legendary stuff is crap as well. Like I'm not saying that you need to find a legendary item every time you open a crate. I'm just saying that I shouldn't be finding a legendary item once every three games. Whereas like in Fortnite, if you win more than like, I want to say three or four gunfights, you're probably going to wind up with at least one or two items. But I've gone almost entire matches without finding so much as a purple even on anybody I've killed. The other thing people were complaining about is the thermal snipers, and I actually do have a complaint about that, but it's not the one that everybody else is making. I don't know if this necessarily applies to snipers, but it does apply to other guns. I hate that thermal sights don't have the sniper glint. Now, I'm actually, I think they do on regular snipers. I'm not really sure about that. But I do know that for, um, I did not plan where to go at all. But I do know that for ARs and stuff, it doesn't. Because I played a little bit of multiplayer yesterday and basically everyone in the game was using thermal something. And it was really annoying because I had no idea where they were, but they knew where I was at all times. Oh my god, that was depressing. Okay, see this right here? Like, this is what people are talking about. This loot is terrible. It's a purple AR and it's completely useless. Why are there people here? I'm in the middle of nowhere. If this was squads, there wouldn't be a single person here. Anyway, those two people walking in just completely made me lose my train of thought. But yeah, getting back to the loot and the loadouts thing, man. Like I said, I don't really think that much needs to change with the loadout drops. I think they should just only work for one person if you buy them. And that's really it. Like, you could remove them or change them or whatever if you really want. But only do that after you make the loot better. Because currently, uh, this is not great. Like, even a lot of the loot that you do get... Even the the loot that's supposedly good, right? Like the uh, the legendary MP5, or even the purple MP5. For whatever reason, it's got that crappy ACOG scope on it. Like, who wants to use that? Both Fals, the purple and the legendary, have that terrible sniper scope on it. Like, why? Like, I am positive Infinity Ward has access to this data. They should check the frequency of use of, like, different attachments on different guns, and then set it up like that. Because I'm pretty sure if you take any look at anybody playing multiplayer i'm not sure if anyone has ever used a foul with a sniper scope outside of like doing a personal challenge or something it's so useless speaking of loadout drops i'm gonna go to the shop and buy one right now because i have not found anything of any use oh high alert triggered I'm telling you man best perk in the game gotcha bitch Damn it! If that kid comes back and kills me, I'm going to lose my mind. Dude, come on! That's actually so annoying. There's no reason. Sometimes the damage range makes no sense, dude. Like, I sniped that one guy, I don't even want to know how many times, and he didn't die. And that guy just, I don't even know how quickly he killed me, and he was pretty far. With an AR, no less. Alright, honestly, I'm done after that. Whew, man, that was... That was annoying. I'm liking this game mode still, but Jesus, there is a lot of stuff that just doesn't make any sense. That solos mode is kind of fun, though. I actually kind of like that more than squads, because it makes me feel a little bit more confident about only having to run into one person at a time. But yeah, that was really it. The only uh, reason I really wanted to make this video was because I finally got my first win. Woohoo. Here's to a gazillion more that I will probably not get because I suck.